So the Ready Player One trailer has dropped, and perhaps you're looking to get into VR. I encourage it, because it's incredible. The sorts of experiences I will strongly vouch for are simulators, games that put you in a cockpit like racing and driving games. You'll definitely want a wheel. Also flight sims, so find yourself a hands-on throttle and stick. With first-gen virtual reality head-mounted displays now fairly established, the cost has gone down a bit. Oculus Rifts are going for about $500 or even as low as $400 with touch controls. So if you want to look like this guy, shop around for the good sales. Just expect to be photobombed at every opportunity when others are around. Cost of components will vary depending on the tech you find. By no means do you have to go with the GTX 1080 Ti. It's currently about as good as you can get for graphics, but you can drop about $500 less on a GTX 1050 or 1060. I actually started with the GTX 970 before upgrading and it worked perfectly fine. But make your system your own. I don't have a DeLorean, but I've got one of these, so mod your PC however you like. Now let's turn her on and see how she revs up. Stand by for the score. The Orange VR Mark test is a free VR benchmark from FutureMark. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, a benchmark will measure your system against others and give you a performance score. Right now it's actually rendering a side-by-side -side image of what is being seen in the VR HMD. Valve has their own benchmark in the Steam VR performance test. Again, if you're new to VR, you should know that with an Oculus Rift, you can also run games from Steam VR. This performance test pretty much does the same thing the side-by-side -side VR mark does, but it's the go-to test most people use to get an idea of how their rigs hold up in VR. I'm hoping the long-anticipated Ready Player One continues to charge the spark of virtual reality. I've seen renewed interest lately with many companies coming aboard the VR train. We have full AAA titles out now and coming down the pipeline. When Ernest Klein wrote the book in 2011, VR was a good bit closer than most of us imagined. I wish I could tell my childhood self that VR is going to happen. The ones who really sold me on the idea were a group of friends you can find on YouTube, each with their own channels, but they're collectively known as the VR Spies. Check them and some others out here. As you know, you'll find much better content from their channels than my own, at least for now. In the meantime, would you kindly let me know if you plan on venturing into VR and what kind of build questions you might have. I'd be happy to help.